today's news, policemen get away after having sex with teenagers. This is a pretty disgusting bit of news out of South Korea, which was reported by the Korean Herald, one of the main English language newspapers in South Korea. Apparently, a 31-year-old police officer, which since has resigned from the police force in Busan, had sex with more than one high school female. One was a 17-year-old high school student inside a car, and another one is... Actually, I don't know the other one. According to the article, it wasn't one police officer having sex with multiple students. It was two police officers who both had sexual relationships with teenagers that they were supposed to be mentoring, and they both came to light around the same time period. One student actually even contemplated committing suicide. Both police officers resigned with very little retribution. According to the article, the man even received his severance pay, the police officer who resigned, and the case was closed within the school. But it was reported from one of the girls to the school nurse, then to somebody else, and then finally to the police. And the police investigated it, and when they opened their investigation, realized that the school had already made the police officer resign, and there was no information other than that. So I guess the reason that we're even talking about this is to just sort of highlight how things can get covered up when they don't follow the straight and narrow over there. Yeah, this makes me fucking sick, to be frank, uh, because the age of consent in South Korea is 13 or 14, which to me, I'm sorry, is too young. And there's another, this is so confusing, man. It is confusing. That's why I got it wrong in the beginning. Yeah, I didn't get it wrong. I just didn't have it fully right. The laws are confusing on this. If the guy has some sort of power over the girl, then he is supposed to, or she is supposed to be at fault. And it's supposed to be considered rape if they're, for example, a government employee. But right. that is the scenario and they got away free and I just don't get it. Like how is this person who has committed this act supposed to feel the effects of doing something wrong if nothing legally happens against him? Like he's not going to. And therefore this sort of thing could happen again, which is why we're sitting here talking about it because we don't like it when things go wrong against innocent people and then there's no rebalance of the situation. The only thing that they're supposedly doing is changing the police force within the schools. Like if it's an all girls school, they'll have a female officer. They're trying to hire more female officers, right. If it's an all boys school, they have a male officer. And if it's a co-ed school, then they have one of each gender. The only issue with that is there are more men that want to become police officers over there versus women by a large number. And so therefore they have to recruit more female officers, but this is sort of a difficult proposition because less females want to go into that career path. And it's also not taking any other pro action against other similar situations happening. Do you think just because the person's of the same gender that you won't have any future sexual assault or violence? That's twisted. I personally feel that if there's no recourse, then there's nothing to prevent this happening again in the future. What's your reaction to hearing this news? Comments. And how do you think the laws over in South Korea, if at all, should be changed as a result of hearing about this news? Click the like button while you're down there. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us here at Hollywood Back. And don't forget to subscribe for more Hollywood Back news. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.